Hey there guys, um, so today's day two of our uh, talk about the TV shows. I know I said I was going to do about four programs today, uh, the British show Spooks, uh, Castle, Chuck and Weeds, but I'm going to focus, uh, at least for the first week, on just two shows a day, uh, just to get me into the groove of it, and then I will add them next week, I'll add the other shows next week. Um, so today I'm only going to talk about Castle and Chuck. So, if you don't like them programs, and you were really looking forward to um, Spooks, for instance, or um, Weeds, I'm really sorry, but I just want to get set up, set myself in. I don't want to bite off uh, more than I can chew, and so I'm only going to focus on them two. Okay. Now, before I get into talk about uh, Castle and Chuck, I just want to mention uh, that the uh, comedy legend Sir Norman Wisdom. Uh, sadly passed away in the early hours of the morning, um, which is a crying shame. Uh, the only saving grace is he did die peacefully, um, with no pain. Um, if you know who Norman Wisdom is, you'll know he's, he's a great comedy legend. And I urge, if you don't know who he is, I urge you to go and look up some of his films. They're probably on the internet um, for you to watch, because they, they're, they're, fan they're, they're fantastic. Um, there is nothing at the moment um, and there hasn't been since since his films um, he died at the age of uh, 95 um, he starred in films like The Early Bird, The Square Peg, A Stitch in Time uh, and many many more and he was a comedy legend and you know the world is going to be a very sad place without him so just wanted to say that okay so now I'm going to talk about um, Chuck. Now, in this episode of Chuck, um, you'll remember from last episode, sorry, uh, that um, right at the end, uh, Chuck mentions to uh, to uh, Sarah, I think she's called, yeah, I think she is, um, that, you know, maybe they're next to have a baby, because obviously Awesome and Ellie are uh, having a kid, and this scares her. Well, in this show, uh, she's trying to tell Chuck that you know, she's scared about it all and all that. Um, but they keep getting distracted because there's also two prisoners who have been brought into um, into the uh, into castle. Um, so basically, they've got to, you know you know uh, keep guarding the prisoners until the transport comes to collect them. One of them you'll know from a previous episode, uh, the, the episode from the last series with Stone Cold Steve Austin in the uh, WWE wrestler. Um, he's back in this episode and it was funny. I enjoyed it so much. It was hilarious. Some of the jokes, some of the fighting scenes. Um, yeah, it had everything that Chuck should have. I'm a big, big fan of Chuck. Um, so yeah, um, I'm, I really love that. So... I can't think of anything that sticks out with the episode because there's, you know, Chuck's awesome all the way through. Um, the funny, funniest bit was probably um, when uh, with the Stone Cold Steve Austin fight with Chuck in the in like the repair room in the back of uh, of the Bymo. Um, which was very hilarious um, and funny and I was laughing my head off all the way through it. So yeah, I really do think that was a good episode of Chuck um, and Chuck just seems to be getting better and better. So, you know, what can I say? Okay, so now that I'm done with Chuck, I'm going to go on to the TV show Castle. Castle for me is starting to get a bit samey. It's one of them shows where if you don't mind it repeating itself every episode, uh, then you know it's fine. And that show, I really don't. I mean, I'm u I usually prefer it to mix it up a bit, but that show really fits them kind of repeating themselves. I mean, they don't repeat themselves as in the same crimes and all that, but. Um, yeah, it was a really good episode. Again, unfortunately, there's nothing that stood out, though. So I can't really go into detail about it, because there was really nothing that stood out. Um, but, uh, yeah. I mean, um, the trainer of... Um, the, tr the trainer of Kate Beckett um, 
uh, you know, where who she was partnered with when she first joined the police force comes out of the woodwork, and you do get to see, you know, see, hear some of the backstory about uh, Kate Beckett's story when she was trained to be a copper, uh, to be a police officer. So that was pretty nifty. I did did like that. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, nothing really stood out. So that's going to be it, I'm afraid. I, I mean, I'm not filling these out, but hopefully I can only get better. Tomorrow, there's only three... Pro- uh, sorry, tonight, there's only three programs that I'll actually watch that are on, and they are Glee, NCIS, and Stargate Universe. I will definitely be doing NCIS, and I will definitely be doing Glee. Um, Stargate Universe, I may or may not... Um, do, depending on. Um, it just depends if it's good. If it's really bad, then I'll uh, do it. But apart from that, that's uh, that's it for today. Thank you for uh, staying uh, staying tuned, and I'm hopefully. I know I'm not really doing this that well, but you know I have only just started, so I can only get better. So um, thanks for watching. Peace out.